Erythronium denscanus. This is a pot of seedlings. These first few flowers flowered oh, two or three weeks ago. I featured them on earlier. They were very dark flowers, and the first two now have gone over. There they are, hopefully, going to give me some seed. So, this is a, a basket of seedlings, and it really does the range and variation in colour. Shows the beautiful advantage of growing from seed if we just look at this little group. So you've got a pale pink, a darker pink, almost white, narrower petals, broader petals, narrow petals again. There's another very dark one. And when you consider this is the same batch of seedlings at this one flowered earlier so you there's another variation in the flowering period some will flower earlier and others later of course if we go into the leaves not these these are these are mechanopsis seedlings that just self seed everywhere but there's a nice dark leaf with just a few green spots and here's another more developed leaf and there's another leaf in here looking different so we got all the different leaves and as these are coming out, there's still some in here, still in quite tight bud. So we do get that variation. Here's a nice one down here. Another looks already starting to form a clump. Two coming up, so that's a desirable feature we're looking for. And this is in the bed with mostly other erythroniums in the plunge. The Corydalis is self-seeded in here as have the Mechanopsis. This is a another plunge basket of another dense canis, but this time it's just it's a clone. So I've cloned this one's been cloned out, it's a clone I've built up, but so everything's coming together. All the colours will be the same. But that's not nearly so interesting to me as when you get these lovely mixed forms. This to me is much, much nicer beautiful mixture of erythronium dense canis.